What's up, rotters? And welcome back to Brainwatch, the podcast that takes a deep dive into the best and worst horror films of the 80s and 90s. I'm Stevie, your VHS veteran. Hope you're all doing horrendously, and I hope you had a fantastic Halloween. Um, obviously, this episode was meant to drop on Halloween, but lots of things got in the way, unfortunately. First of all, <laughs> my costume took uh, a lot longer than I was expecting for my live show with Evolution of Horror. Um, it involved sewing and painting and wax and prosthetics uh, so it took way longer than I was expecting and I was hoping to edit today's episode in the morning and then finish the costume in the afternoon but it took a whole day to do the costume so you're getting it now secondly the other thing that's caused a delay is we had some audio issues that I only noticed when I started editing um, there is some slight crackling over my guest's mic but I've managed to reduce it massively and it shouldn't be much of a problem um, it definitely is worse in the first half of the episode and then it gets considerably better from the middle onwards um hope that's all right and from next week we will be closing out the last few episodes of this season from thursday all will be revealed why in a few weeks when we start the mates of hell christmas so yes next week thursday for the new episode keep your eyes on our socials where we will be announcing what the movie is so for today here is our Halloween episode with the wonderful Tori Allen Martin, and we're talking about Rocktober Blood from 1984, which is currently streaming on Shudder. Check it out. Tori Allen Martin. <laughs> Never gets old, that. Never gets old. No, it doesn't. No. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Yeah, I'm very good. I'm very good. Happy Halloween! Thank you. Happy Halloween to you too. Yeah, it's my day. Oh, well, it's my day! <laughs> No one else. You've is, just taken that. All about me. It belongs to you. <laughs> I'm feeling very witchy yeah. this Halloween. I'm really embracing That's my me. inner witch. So I'm enjoying your day. I'm really enjoying your day. Congratulations. Happy oh, day. you're welcome. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> Um, do you do anything? Are you doing anything? I mean, we were just discussing a bit before uh, recording how we're not we're not 22 anymore, and no. so things like. A giant Halloween party to me is like, oh god, I, I'm I'm already like sweating and I've got anxiety at the thought. Of Terrifying. It. So I'm not going. No, I'm doing nothing. I'll watch horror movies. I think I'm going to go to the cinema with my best friend to watch a horror movie. But I can't. Yeah, mm. even Saturday night, I went to this. I went to this like healing workshop, right? All like awaken the witch. Like literally, I'm I'm in my healing <laughs> soft life era, <laughs> nearly forty era, like fix this shit now or like forever live in the mistake of your past you know what I mean and um yeah. then I met a friend for dinner and I, there's all these kids rolling around in underwear with scary faces and I, honestly it was giving me anxiety <laughs> I was like these days are gone I now like lie in a room with loads of like older women like you know crying about trauma and like awakening our inner witch I have not got the time for snogging someone dressed as Freddy Krueger like I can't do it anymore I can't do it <laughs> It's done. Oh my god, I love that. I know, same. More same. power to see, them, seen... but it's done. Yeah, totally. I've already yeah. seen um because obviously it's today is Tuesday, it's Halloween, so all the big parties are on Saturday. And I, I can mm. see people who are still suffering. And we're recording this on Monday <laughs> and I can see it and I'm like, I I'm I'm happy off out of that. I'm like, this is that's this is why. This is got what it's not worth it. No. It's days and days. They won't be recovered until after Halloween. They party before Halloween and they'll still be like depressed and crying mm. about their choices on Thursday. You know? Right. And we've just awakened the witch. You've celebrated your yeah. day. Like we you know, which <laughs> which we're living. Yeah. But but no regrets. We partied hard and we had a lovely time, Stevie. So, you know, oh, no yes, judgment, right? But we're done. We're done. Yeah, uh, totally. Yeah. Um, and so today <laughs> I've brought you back. You're always one of my favourite guests to have on and, and you're a fan <laughs> favourite. I get a lot of people mentioning you uh, and saying, when's Tori coming back? Aww. So I've given you Thank the you. coveted spot on Halloween <gasps> and I've chosen a right corker of a film. You have, you have. This is, I, this is an honour. I'm very honoured. Thank you. Not at all. So yeah, so we're going to be talking about Rocktober Blood from 1984, which is currently streaming on Shudder. Um, so this, I mean, this this movie hasn't uh, had the upgrade yet, as you may have noticed. You know, a lot of these films get scanned and Blu-rayed and 4K. This, however, has slipped through the net and it has not quite yeah. had the uh, digital no, updo. it has not. I mean, I was struggling to hear in the first scene. I yes. was like... <laughs> I can't hear what anyone's saying. 
<laughs> well, that's the thing. I had I actually put the subtitles on, and um, even the subtitles at several points just said undescript chatter. No, what's undescript? That's not indistinct. Indistinct, indistinct chatter, and it was a full conversation happening. It was, but it's a full conversation. I was like, oh, so you okay? You're not getting that either. Okay. Wow. Okay. Not just us. Not just us. No. Um, but what are your general thoughts then of Rocktober Blood? What are my general thoughts of Rocktober Blood? I, I mean, I have questions, as ever. <laughs> as ever, Stevie. Mm. I have many questions. Mm-hmm. And um, they were not answered by, by the end of the film. Yeah, I think, I think it's one to just uh, work our way through. But I think it was my second... I think it's the second place. I did the Robocopy one or whatever that was called. Chopping Mall. That was Chopping my favourite. Yeah, then this one. And then the Microwave Massacre is still... that. That's coming in third. So I do. I did enjoy Rocktober <laughs> Blood more than the Microwave Massacre. It has to be said. <laughs> I think that's fair enough. No, that's fair enough. I get it, I get it. Um, there's a lot of um, full-length songs in this in fact there's one song we get twice Twice. from start to finish (laughs) it's like it's when you least expect it i will attack yes oh very descriptive as well i'm back 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 gonna kill you (laughs) back and also when he's like when you least expect it i will attack i'm like babe you're now giving the game away because now whenever i least expect it i'll be thinking he might attack he might be back so it's it's Reddit. not very subtle. It's not very subtle, and I didn't need it twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yes, but this uh, these songs. So they were basically by an actual band called Sorcerer. I think they were called. And I think so they're called the Sorcery, lead... aren't they? Sorcery. Oh, it's Sorcery. I mean, I might be wrong, but I, I maybe we need to Google that. I, mean, I do, it's something like that. Yeah, it's, it's sorcery it's long or sorcery. Lines. But the um, yeah, but the actual guy singing is the British guy in this, Chris. So it's his oh, voice. The terrible actor. No, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on. In his delivery. Wow, I was like, fucking hell. Why does the really Brit have bad. to be? Oh, it was shocking. Um, but it opens obviously really on this the the rock song. The original rock song. Now, this is weird. It was a little bit of a niche in the 80s, sort of melding heavy rock or metal and horror films. And there was a slew of films like this and The Black Roses, Trick or Treat. And then it carried on. You know, it, there's even films like Lordy, you know, that won um, Eurovision. They did one called Dark Floors. Even recently, like the Foo Fighters did their own one, Studio 666. Don't watch it. <laughs> um, and so it's like there's a long tradition of this melding, <laughs> this meeting, of fusing of heavy metal and also because of the satanic panic in the 70s where you know everyone was in getting into this hard rock and there was a, a big panic that if you play certain records backwards it's actually summoning demons all this sort of stuff that's why in this we hear some of his music played backwards mm-hmm. um but uh the yeah the whole opening section then what did you think of it so we've got the people in the studio we find <laughs> out that billy's like oh i'm going on a date and we meet lil lynn who is uh <laughs> Yes, <laughs> who's going I to mean, be our, our main girl? I can't say the song instantly grabbed me. So when they were saying this this song is going to go platinum, I was like, <laughs> okay, these lot are deranged. So that's a good start. And then we got lines like, "When you're hot, you're hot. When you're uh-huh. well, I put an R in there. When you're hot, you're hard. <laughs> when you're hot, you're hot. Hard. <laughs> like you're so hot. Um, oh my it does. god. Oh, I'm American. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, when you're hot, you're hot. When you're not, you're not. Like all that, I was like, oh god. Um, I also didn't need the whole song. I was a bit worried when he took it up the octave. Yeah. I thought just because you can doesn't mean you should. Ooh. And then I also, what you you go first? Oh well, no, it's when he when he did take it up to there, yes. and you kind of go, oh yeah, he's there. Oh no, but it's faltering. It's fal-. you know, he's one of those people that when they sing you're worried watching them and that is not a pleasant experience because when you're listening to music what you don't want to feel is anxiety for the singer yeah never and you i mean yeah that was uncomfortable (laughs) and then i also question before when he's leaving and he says what can i say she wants my bard which was quite a line um why is he suddenly (laughs) covered in sweat because when he was singing he was very dry and then he was very, very wet. I was, I actually wound because I was like, right. did I look down at my phone or something and miss the shower that he had? Because he was dripping in sweat. So I'm like, <laughs> that's the first sign that something is awry because you would, he was bone oh. dry like the Sahara in the studio, Stevie Webb. And then there he was dripping, 
drip him. And then when he said, I did write you a song. Grinch. What do you sodden. sodden? What did you think Rainbow Eyes is? Who did you think Rainbow Eyes is for? Well, I was like, okay, here we go. And then he said, hey, mm. babe, that, babe, that's showbiz. I was like, wow, we're in. We're in now, aren't we? And I can't <laughs> wait to hear Rainbow Eyes. <laughs> we, we, are, we hit the ground, hit the ground running. <laughs> Yeah, well, we hear we hear Rainbow Eyes a few times, also, we do. don't we? And also, it's that thing of they've set that thing with Rainbow Eyes. That's what he's going to call her, <laughs> and we get it to the point where when the killer's uh, stalking her later on, within one every single interaction with her, he calls her Rainbow Eyes at least six times. At so least. it's like, hey, Rainbow Eyes, <laughs> I'm back, Rainbow Eyes. <laughs> Open the door, Rainbow Eyes. <laughs> Rainbow Eyes. Why? I need that explained to me, like, because uh, to me, that's not very sort of rock, Sasha, horror, like rainbow eyes. What? And also that just implies multicolored eyes, I d which I don't, I need more context for yeah, that. No, I don't get the metaphor of the rainbow eyes, even though I've heard several. the song several times in the last two hours, but I still don't quite know what the, the reference is. But um, but uh, it's just a lovely callback. And also, obviously, they're trying to sell songs. In rainbow this eyes. This movie is all about trying to get Fair. people to go, mm, And also, I, I do have LP. to give a little note to Kevin, who said, don't get excited, calm down, to what must have been the calmest girl in the world. <laughs> I know. I could, she literally I, goes into doing I, the harmonies. I've never seen someone calmer. And they try twice. They try twice, she, and then they're like, "Oh, that's enough." And also, it's four it thirty a.m. Why didn't? Yeah, why did none of them have homes? Nobody's going home. It's four thirty in the morning. It's practically the next day. What are you doing? Yeah, they call it a night, and then he goes, "I'm gonna go play pinball," and she goes, "I'm gonna go for a jacuzzi." <laughs> In it. What? You get? And we're calling it a night in the morning. Guys, something's gone awry here. And why the jacuzzi? I was like, oh, here comes the nudity. What is the obsession with tits yeah. in 80s horror? Like, what is the correlation? Ah. Uh. Well, the, the thing is also, this is this is directed by uh, a female, by Beverly Sebastian. A woman. Um, so I was like, yeah, come on, yeah. Come on, come on, women in horror. But she knows what they what no. the people want. Because the mm. bit later when we get um, Lynn having a bath, it is in real time. We literally watch someone have a bath, have wash a bath. their hair, <laughs> literally the whole the whole thing. The whole bath. And what a time to have a bath. Like killers on the loose in your house and you're like, Do you know what I'll do? I'll have a nice, slow, wash my hair bath. What on earth? And I couldn't even think about oh, the killer yeah. at that point. I was fascinated by the tan line. What a tan line. <laughs> yes. Wow. Like she was different colors. She turned into me. She was mixed race. She had gone from white girl to mixed race in, in that sun session. Like, <laughs> really? She was uh, like, put her in the sun again. She'd be a black woman. Do you know? Like uh, it was getting like shades. We were changing race. It was that ridiculous. It was, you know, wow. Um, but then, but so Billy comes back to the studio because he's gone off to Shagger Girl and he comes back really quickly. <laughs> it obviously didn't go well, yeah. Well, yeah, very quickly. <laughs> and he uh, was so badly that he decides to kill everyone, right? Yeah, quite a turn, mm. quite quite a shake up there for old Billy. But when knowing, I've just realised, oh no, oh yes, actually, knowing what we know at the end, so it's not actually Billy, is it? It's his oh. twin. We can, we're doing spoilers, obviously, so we might as well Massive spoiler. mention Huge spoiler it. There. So it's actually his twin brother who's so, who wrote the songs and Billy stole them and became famous. So he's come back, killed everyone, and then Billy's been sent down for it. Okay, so it does yes. make kind of sense. Kind of sense? What am I talking does about? It? Does it? <laughs> does it? Does it? I still think it's a very extreme reaction from the brother. And also, you Billy's stolen your songs. Why are you killing everyone else? Mm. What has it got That's to do the with thing, them? Yeah. Why are you making her sing at knife point and then cut her tit off? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> which is very reasonable behaviour <laughs> by all accounts. Um, yeah, so, but at this point, we think it's Billy, right? So yes. I was quite like, Wow. That I, I wonder what his motivation is. And I also, <laughs> I, we don't normally, f I mean, obviously we now know we hadn't found out the killer, but it was quite early doors to sort of like on Reveal. paper, th for, yeah, find out the killer. I was kind of like, yes. wow, well, I mean, this is five minutes in, guys. So Yeah, I thought the same. I, and I was like, oh, so it's going to be one of those films where we're aware who the killer is all the way through. But, yeah. then, but then for some reason whenever the killer is approaching someone, they only show his feet or something like that. And it's like, no, you've already told us who it we is. We know who it is, There's yeah. Babes, There's no the mystery, mystery There's no mystery, hun. <laughs> it's like, we're not going, oh, I wonder who it is. 
what are you no. talking about? You've he's he's had lines. He said it was me. I killed her <laughs> <laughs> several times, and he said that a lot. Like we're yeah. clear, we're clear. I also, you know, when he impaled her on the spike. Yes, that spike wasn't even sharp. So I'm like. I at that point I've written down in my notes if this turns out to be a normal human killer I'm gonna have questions (laughs) (laughs) right that's superhuman strength like how are you gonna you're telling me you've like lifted up this woman in the air with one hand and slammed her through basically a broomstick that had not one spike (laughs) on it and that she's just like through all my ribs and bones and my like spine which wicked (sighs) and I'm dead that's quite an achievement a dark one but quite an achievement I would say yeah, it really is, especially the one-handed, as you say. And, yeah. And, I mean, really, it would just push her body forwards, wouldn't it? <laughs> if you push her going to a spike. Right. But, um, but yeah, but he he uh, he does it. He does it successfully. Um, and then this movie dead. does... Yeah, yes, very successfully. And so everyone's dead except Lynn. She she gets away. It's This is the thing. Well, this this is... movie does this a lot, right? Yeah. Where it Why suddenly does she just keep cuts. getting away? And she just, like, I'm sort of like, what's the joy here for the killer who's just sort of running mm. around after Lynn, who many, many times he could have killed her. Like, when she had her eyes shut in the bath for the whole time that he was stood <laughs> over her, for me, that yeah. seemed as good an opportunity as any. And also, I do have to just give a little bit of a shout out for the script where he was, like, seeing and <laughs> And then she was singing. He'd be like, "Shut up!" And then, and then she, she's, she's like, "You made me sick." And he's absolutely furious about it. And then two seconds later, he's like, "You make me sick." I'm like, "Well, you didn't like her saying that. like, yeah, it was very." Um, and then he said, "Um, you make me want to puke." That was one of my favorite lines. Right. You, you make, make me want to puke. puke, like a killer saying that to <laughs> his victim. Like it, I don't know. I just thought of all the things you're going to say to someone at this point. It, it, it that's that's choice. That choice words. <laughs> you make there. me want to. You make me want to puke. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> right. Cool. Just hurry up and kill me then. No. Okay. Cool. You're just going to chase me around some more with shots of your feet. Fantastic. <laughs> and then a weird POV shots where you watch feet. me in the bath and then go away again. And also when he's banging on yes. the door, like let me in. I'm like, if you're some man, we now know he wasn't, but I was like, if you're back from the mm. dead and you're a ghost, as you say you are, just mm. g- just go through the door, surely, because I doubt you were in your coffin, like <laughs> knocking on the coffin, like, oh, excuse me, six feet under, can someone let me out? Because I need to go and haunt some people, but I can't get out of the t- coffin or the door. Right. I d- it was very confusing. And the phone ringing, but it was off the hook. I felt gaslit because mm. everyone acted like that was normal. <laughs> they were just like, the phone's I ringing know. upstairs. Oh. What? It sounded like it was in the same room. Then they get upstairs and the phone's off the hook and everyone's just like, oh, it's off the hook. Sorry, what? Oh, yeah, explain Why that. are you gaslighting me, fam? Because phones don't <laughs> ring when they're off the hook. Come, no, that, famously. Do you know? So I was, it was, you know, there was trauma for me here, Stevie, because yes, I was being no, gaslit again. I and tell. I thought those days were behind me now that I've dumped all the psycho exes, you know? Like, <laughs> you know. But the thing, you, you see, but the thing is, you can recognise it immediately. That's the thing. That's what is prepared well, you for, yes. to be able to watch something like this and go, And gaslight. in future, I will choose Betty Ann. I hopefully won't be choosing a slasher person from a horror film. That would, that would be, <laughs> that oh, no. would be a really, no, that would be please. really good if I didn't do that next. Yeah. At least we know the science. We do, now. we do. Um, but this, but it literally suddenly goes two years yeah. later, and you go, "What? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> what's happened?" Two years later, and we're with a Michael Jackson impersonator or something, oh which gosh. was uh, sort of doing the robot. Yeah, that was and a bit of a premonition, wasn't stage. it? <laughs> mm. <laughs> of signs, well, things quite. to come. Yeah, that was yeah. interesting. And then the guy who's like, "I want to get drunk. I want to get laid." I was like, "Didn't we all at one point in time, darling?" <laughs> that, that, that. Those were, the Those, days. Were the days. Those were the days. Those were the days. Those were the days. Now I'm like, I want milk and I want to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> milk? <laughs> milk? Milk? I don't think I've ever wanted milk. No, I like, haven't. Cork. <laughs> Doesn't even agree with me, so I don't know. No, me neither. That's funny. Well, I, oh. We're not meant to drink milk, by the way. That's what. That's why I don't know one person that drinks dairy and feels great after great it. After it's like, it. no. Yeah. Everybody no. goes, oh. It's for the baby cows, isn't it, really? Yes. Not us. Yeah, no, fair. definitely not. Um, but it's this sort of rock concert. It's two years later and we get this big exposition dump. That, yes, we um, do. So Lynn is there and now she is playing the rock star. She's got it all going on. And we find out that Billy was executed a year ago. Yes. F- 
because of what happened two years ago where he killed 25 people. We only yeah, see two. we didn't see all that, did we? <laughs> we saw two. We saw two. 25 <laughs> people. How does that happen? Well, how, how does that happen without getting caught by number six? I mean, it's superhuman strength. You've seen him put well, that gun on the, on the broomstick. So he knows what he's well. like doing doesn't he yeah fair enough fair enough but she now sings his song so she had this traumatic experience where he cut a bit of a tit off Mm. and killed her friends (laughs) and and so now she's like oh i'm going to sort of keep his memory alive i thought that was kind of like okay so she took over his career after he tried to kill her and everyone's just fine with that because also all the fans like everyone i'm like no one's got any questions no, no, they're just blindly, blindly following. Yeah, I and mean her... to be honest, it's probably quite true to life because, uh, well, uh, I mean, there's some of the pe- some of the wrong ends out there in the music industry that you know people still listen to their music. Well, a hundred percent, it probably was sort of a bit of a premonition, and we've got old Michael Jackson impersonator knocking himself out. So it, uh, maybe they're psychic, <laughs> to be honest. Maybe this really is a bit of a witchcraft film because they're it's kind prophetic. of yeah, giving us a nod of what's to come, and it's, they're like, "You're laughing at us." Well, look at you in the future. Don't know. <laughs> why they're from the Bronx. Wow! Well, I was going to say, wow, what was that New York agent? <laughs> I, I, do, I don't know where he from came from. 1968. I conjured him it is Halloween. I'm an day. agent in New York in 1968. <laughs> and You're I'm going to show star, you the, the sign of the times. Um, but yeah, also the motivation, all we got was she just said, he just went berserk. I was like, all right, that's, yeah, right. cool. That explains it. 25 people dead. Yeah, he just went berserk standard didn't yeah and he did and obviously he denied didn't. it because we find out it prob it wasn't actually him it was his brother so i'd like to um what i don't understand did so he, he not have an executed. alibi for all 25 exactly. that's deaths. what doesn't make sense he so technically he was with another girl because that's where he went and yeah and where was back. she because exactly. she could have spoken up and said well no i was having sex yeah. with him he was very late he was and very, i was very angry and he, was, and he arrived very wet very sweaty <laughs> Covered in sweat, sodden yeah. as you said. Good, what good word you used? Ruined earlier. my sheets. Ruined them. Had to go yeah, and get sodded. them laun- yeah. laundered and then binned them because they were still drenched. Laundered, no alibi. But he got executed anyway a year ago, so mm. whatever. Um, so, but then, um, so there's a bit where the guy in the mask says to Lynn, "Oh, Chris wants you up in his office now." His office. Mm. She goes to the <laughs> attic, like the attic, and it is she's walk, balancing on beams. Yeah, and there's cobwebs. I'm like, are you? Have you been to the office before? Because I, I'm saying, I'm guessing it's I not don't up think there. That's the office. No, I think she no. took the wrong turn. That's the orifice. <laughs> did she miss she did. here? I think she did. She went. She goes to the yeah. garret. But anyway, this is where we see Billy. He reveals himself and he's like, ha, 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 I'm hey, back. boys, I'm yeah. back. Of course he is. And then, so Chris goes to find her and he finds that she sort of sat on a <laughs> balancing on a beam in the attic. Of course. Which, AKA his course. office. Um, and she, the thing is, she's not traumatised that she's seen the dead person. She's kind of... She's calm. A bit just... Yeah, she's bummed she actually, out. Actually, yeah, I've I've written this too. She's quite calm, and I've said kind of whiny. Like I remember her being yes. like, "He's come back from the dead." Like, yeah, oh she's like, god, oh, Billy, so annoying. The murderer's yeah, back. back now. He wants to kill another twenty five people. I'm so bummed yeah. out. Like really, really calm, really calm. Yeah. She's got. Uh, she's on something for sure. Yeah. She's got some beta blockers going on. So Chris, obviously the British guy, um, he calls her an hysterical woman, <laughs> sends her to an isolated lakeside location <laughs> so she can chill out and stop being a fragile female. <laughs> Why has right? nobody ever done that for me? <laughs> oh, I know. Wouldn't that be, be so I'm going to send you to the lake. Please send me to the lake for being a hysterical woman about seeing my dead ex boyfriend who killed twenty five <laughs> people and now wants to kill me again, even though he's technically right. dead. Just calm me right. down at the lake. That'll fix it. Yeah, it sounds wonderful. But I'll tell you what, she she adapts quickly to lake to lake life because she does. she's gone from this huge haired eighties hair rock goddess to a cropped bonnet, waistcoat, mom jeans, hiking boots, and she's photography photographing, photographing wildlife. Yeah. <laughs> She is. Wildlife. It's a real change. Her healing journey has <laughs> come full circle in two days. Yeah. yeah, she's she's changed. She's changed her life at this point for the mm-hmm. better. Well, 
Unfortunately, though, the rocks are laughing at her. They are. <laughs> the rocks are telling telling her, I'm going to get the you, Rainbow Eyes. <laughs> And they have a sort of megaphone with a voice effect on it, clearly. Yes, exactly. That are, yeah. I also was like, what are the rules in this film? Because this guy mm. just pops up whenever he wants. He's at a gig, yes. he's daytime on a cliff. Like, like there's, yeah. you know, normally it's sort of like, oh, it's night time. It's, it's this specific time. We've heard a song. We've, you know, there's often sort of rhyme or reason, at least slight, <laughs> for a killer kind of <laughs> popping up. And this guy, there's not one rule. He's just like, <laughs> here I am in your popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> You're having a shit. <laughs> You're brushing your hair. Like he's there. There's not one rule, you know? And as you say, he's not supernatural. We found out he's just a no. man. So how is this happening? So he was stood there then with a megaphone with the voice effects on yeah. it, somewhere behind a rock going, <laughs> just to fuck with her. <laughs> Yes. I mean, wild, her there. wild scenes, <laughs> wild. Uh, and then back at the lake, the lake house, which is, I think it is also the studio, which is where we were at the beginning. Because I'm assuming that because exactly the same jacuzzi as the beginning is in this I mean, lake you house. Are, you're assuming this, but we, who knows with this film, to be honest, mm. Stevie. And I, I'm going to give it I imagine we're expected to think it's somewhere completely different, if I'm honest with you. I think you're probably right, but I think you're uh-huh. not supposed to have noticed that. Because oh, after but... all, it was 4.30 a.m., so the light was very different <laughs> as it is this today. Is so I think they're hoping it was a different jacuzzi. But I think, so I think you may have spotted an error there. So I've been a bit too detective. Yeah, there, that's a big, big spoiler. You've kind of ruined the film for everyone. Just don't watch it. <laughs> um, so, but her two friends there, although she references that they work for her because she continually yeah, says, what, like, I'm going to fire you. What do but they the do? The two girls, what are they doing? Well, they're, they're doing, I want to say aerobics, but they're kind of kickball changing on the spot. I've and shaking. never seen exercise like that. And, no. and a bit later on when one's just wafting her fanny around repeatedly. Like, <laughs> yes. that's a move, isn't it? And then they cut to a different angle and she definitely wasn't being paid for the full day and had left because like her legs just got, <laughs> her foot would have definitely been going zoom, 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 in that woman's face when she's doing all the phone acting. But suddenly it's gone and then we cut to and she's back again, still wafting her fanny in her face, right. probably for 20 <clears throat> minutes. Okay. But I mean, I, I it sort of made me want to try it because her thighs are good. You know, maybe we're, all getting it really wrong and we need to go back to kickball yeah. changing and w- fanny wafting to get you just kickball changing on the spot the original yeah. exercise they were they were dripping in sweat too maybe that's well, what that's the, maybe that's what billy had been doing in <laughs> kickball changing in the studio yeah maybe maybe <laughs> fine I'll t- i buy it mm. i buy it um yeah it's a very it's very odd but obviously she goes oh i heard billy in the in the rocks <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. don't believe her. But to be honest, the way she delivers this terrifying experience, mm. I, I I would have a trouble believing her as well and not thinking she's just looking for attention. She's like, oh, Billy's back here again. You know, I heard him in the rocks in the forest and they don't believe him. Her... But yeah, I, I, I tell you, what, go on. She, well, her pro- the way she thought she could prove it to them was she said, mm. I nearly broke my neck. I hurt my hand. I broke my nail trying to run away from him <laughs> that that was her explanation well, so then it must be true because if you nearly broke your neck you hurt your hand and you broke your nail trying to run away from your dead ex-boyfriend <laughs> yeah it must be true that was that was yeah, how that, she validated that, that experience but it didn't work those silly oh, yeah. silly girls didn't believe her unfortunately mm. and then we get the prank phone call now that was annoying it took a uh, Mm, I mean, the sentence that comes from the other side is quite, um, oh. I don't know, it was a little bit shocking. Was this, I want your hot steaming pussy blood all over my face? <laughs> was that that line? Yeah. yeah. That's the line, Tori. That was a line. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Ooh. I also, uh, like, he's a murderer, yeah, but that could also be yeah. someone with a fetish for period sex. So at this well, point, yeah. it's unclear. If it's a murderer What's or happening? if it's her boyfriend with a with a particular fetish. We don't have that background information. So we cannot answer to that, can we? This is true. This is true. You, you've got that right. I think this might be a reference to a film from the 70s called Black Christmas where, the, where the, they, um, the sorority sisters get these obscene phone calls and it does say horrible things like this. But it's just very... It really caught me off guard. I mean, that. yeah, it comes out of nowhere. Up to this point, yeah, I want your hot, steamy pussy blood all over my face mm. yikes 
And as you say, yeah, they're like, the girls are like, oh, the call's coming from inside the house. Let's go upstairs. What are you talking? The call's coming from inside the house. Get out I of know, the house. It, 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 none of it made sense. And I was like, how do you know that it's coming from inside the house? And then I'm like, what did she mean? That it was a phone upstairs? Like, oh, this is where I felt so mm. gaslit and I'm going to need to go to therapy because <laughs> that really was just fucking with me. And nobody's explained it to me. And then it's just ringing off the no. hook. No, Stevie. No. <laughs> you're it's not happy, not, are you? It's not right. It's never mind it's all the okay. killing. I don't gaslight me. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I do. The, the, this is a moment where this happens a lot in the film, where within one scene, it goes from night to day to night. It keeps mm. changing. And there's a sh- so after this, they put it back on the hook or whatever. And then it cuts to two of them out on a speedboat. Bright daylight. Yeah. And we watch them on a boat for 10 seconds. Mm. Then it cuts back to the house and we're at night time. I, was, d- what I was can't that? answer that. I would, I'll never okay. know. But we, okay. we witnessed it. Um, we saw it. It happened. Yeah. And then one of those girls, they, she gets killed in the jacuzzi, another jacuzzi standard. death. She gets pulled into it. Yeah, standard. And this is where they're still showing us the killer's feet, the mystery. Yeah, we've got a bit of POV <laughs> action there as well. Yeah. It's 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 a choice. I also, I remember there was a very sort of casual, he's been calling. The, you know, like the dead man's been calling. Oh, yeah, just yeah. Again, really casual. The dead man's I'm been like, ca- casual. Yeah, the dead guy's calling. Casual. casual. And then also yeah. the terrible actor man. The, sorry. God love him. Chris. He, he calls yeah. her. And then within two yeah. seconds goes, I got to go, babe. I'm like, why'd you fucking call then? Rude. Yeah. He, he goes, obviously someone's trying to scare you. Just call the sheriff or something. Yeah. And I'm like, what? Did you call to say that? Because you couldn't have known that. So he's just like, hey, babe. She's like, They're, he's calling. He's like, I've got to go. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Yeah. Why did you call? <laughs> wow. Why did you call in the first place? That would really annoy me if someone called me and then said, I've got to go now. I'd be like, well, now I feel like a div. Oh, I didn't want you to call. call. And now and now you're on the phone. I'd like to talk to you. And now you want to go. There's a lot of emotional abuse <laughs> in this film. Well. There is. It's an emotionally abusive film. <laughs> I've been emotionally abused. <laughs> I completely agree. And then this is the moment where we see the entire bath, getting ready for the bath, getting mm. in the bath, checking the temperature, washing mm-hmm. her hair, d- uh, drying herself. And then obviously it's because she's naked. So I guess maybe that's why it's lost on me. But I, I, I know what a, taking a bath looks like. I don't need to wash some, watch someone yeah, no, wash one, themselves. Yeah, no, 100. Um, I don't need that either. I mean, I, you know, I've but, dated men, I've dated a woman and it's still lost on me, babe. So I, there's, there's, right, there's no, you I don't think that's happening for anyone. Yeah. So don't worry. I don't think it's that you're gay. Go, go. I don't think your sexuality Good. is the problem here. I think the film is the problem. Fair enough. <laughs> Billy pops out of the closet. Now he's taken the time to uh, apply some makeup, right? Like Alice Cooper style clown yeah. rock makeup. Because all dead men do. <laughs> Although he's not dead. Well, ah, it's coming. Well, there you go. Uh, I, and he, oh, again, he's going, rainbow eyes. Hey, rainbow eyes. It's like, we get it. It's a cutesy callback to the song at the beginning. But we every get it. interaction. And there's not really a payoff until, like, I guess, when she no. sings rainbow eyes at the end. But it's like, it's not really a big moment. Nobody cares. Like, nobody cares about this rainbow eye thing. It's not like, this. stop trying to make Fetch happen. It's never going to happen. Yeah, it's that. You know it's very I mean? that. Very that. But like, so Chris eventually turns that. up, doesn't he? He's like, oh, I better go check on that hysterical bitch up by the lake. And he gets there. He's like, yeah, <laughs> someone's trying to scare you. I'm going to take you back to the city. Doesn't call the cops, even though she stabbed him in the shoulder as well. Um, call, oh, yeah, and he's so calm about that. Yeah. Also, when they go, that, that conversation begins like, that car sounded really urgent, man. It is bloody urgent. I'm like, there's yet yeah, there's no urgency here. You're pigeon stepping into the room. <laughs> and then there it's it's just that whole bit is like GCSE improv, isn't it? Yeah. They're just like, Painful. I know he's dead, yeah, and I know he's dead. Yeah, but I know he's dead too. Yeah, yeah. I know you know he's dead. Ha ha ha. Back and forth. I was like, wow, did they just improv these lines? Because I mean the script's bad, but this is this this yeah. is even making like letting the script down and that's saying something. <laughs> completely there's a lot of circular conversations there's a lot of it and this and the couple 
have the least chemistry I've ever mm. known. Oh the the British guy and her. If they're supposed yeah. to be together, yeah, they I'm are. like, what? And then, and then out of nowhere, he starts mansplaining a green card. What's that about? And yes, what was that? He goes, I'm going to lose. Yeah, he's like, she's I'll like, lose I my wanna... green card. Yeah, she says, I want to dig up his body. I want to dig up <laughs> Billy's body. And he's like, oh, uh, no. I'm... Well, first of all, he says, I'm not digging his body up. Graveyards give me the creeps. I'm like, sorry, so yep. that's your problem with it. The location, that's you, that's not the ethics reason. of exhuming a body. Cool. Yeah. No, no, that's fine. And then he's worried about his green card. Green card. And she's I like, mean, well, green card? And he's like, yeah, you know, that's what lets me work over here and make money for you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Weird. It Very strange moment. Oh, she's, she goes through with it, though. She's like, do you know what? I'm going to fucking go and exhume a dead body. Also... Interesting that a mass murderer mm. has a marked grave amongst all the regular people in the cemetery and who had just, a funeral who killed I 25 know. people. I know. And I also, I had some questions about the legitimacy of this, right? Okay. Because they're, t- <laughs> Come on. they're trying logic to make this work, right? So, so th- this whole section is about them proving mm-hmm. that, a, like... So they want to, if they prove that this dead man is not in his grave. That means he's up and about. <laughs> then what? That he's, he's up and about. Yeah. So I'm like, uh, and I'd also argue, yeah, if we're going to, you know, if we're believers, that hmm. being haunted wouldn't mean that the body wasn't in the grave. Uh, so I'm just agree. sort of like, you you just genuinely think, what, we'll get to his grave. He won't be in there. And then we'll go, see, told you. Solved, solved. He, like, do you see, do you see where I'm going with this? I, I do. I just I had he's some not questions. A zombie. No, so I'm like, guys, what's the plan here? Why are you trying to use logic to make sense of being haunted by a dead man? Because I don't think logic's going to cut it at this stage. No, no, just that's a hunch. So true. Just a like, hunch. Like this is going to prove everything. And so, either way, if it is in there or isn't in there, like, what are we? That no, still doesn't prove anything. Nothing's proven. Nothing also, at all. I have to say, like, I was behind Lynn this whole time, right? Like, no, this is real. She's seeing him because we're the audience. We're with her. We're seeing him. They open the fucking grave. She sees him in there. Mm, he opens does. his eyes and he says, I'm back. And then we realise she's hallucinating and it's a skeleton. And so then with a it worm. puts me, it puts me in an awkward position because I'm like, oh, fuck, babe. I've been with you this whole time because and, I've been yeah, seeing him too. Unreliable narrator. Yeah, and now that you've just looked at a skeleton and thought it was a winking corpse, I'm kind of having to dissociate my sort of uh, pact with you. Yeah. I'm going to have to sort of remove myself from the situation. <laughs> I because I can imagine I you were really, can... really with her before this I was. Point. I was like, okay, everyone's pissing me off. She's not lying, guys. Yeah, no, and fair. And at this point, I have to take a step, step back, I'm afraid. We have to question if she needs to go back to the lake house. Exactly. Because yeah. something's going on here. The, the, she's having a moment. The skull, I've just written the skull and put four laughing face emojis because it's that that was a moment, wasn't it? And the worm sort of just writhing yeah. about on it. Proper Halloween store. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, so, but again, you know, every time something like this happens, there's no sort of follow on there's no, no sort of repercussion it just then cuts to well we better go back to the rock concert yeah you've just um, you've just dug up a grave you've just dug up a grave and seen a skull of yes. of somebody you all knew as well do you know what i mean like right. i would think there'd be some trauma here because you did know this guy like you exchanged <laughs> bodily fluids with him like and now you yes. know he's murdered everyone he tried to murder you he cut your tit and he's <laughs> he's chasing you around when you're trying to have a bath and now you've just seen his dead man's well, skull and now you're like cool let's go back to the show rock must concert. go on well that's showbiz yeah. kids <laughs> where's the agent yeah, yeah, that's showbiz go. kids well, well. he's come back <laughs> oh um the iron death was wild, wasn't it? Oh, this is it. Yeah, so Billy, well, what we believe is Billy. Mm. So he's back. He's getting ready for the show in the dressing room. Uh, but he goes in, obviously, yeah, and he sticks a hot iron on the girl's neck. She dies mad mm. quick as well, isn't it? She's like, yeah. straight away. And all, by the yeah. way, the drummer mm. in the sound check, has he ever played drums before? Because <laughs> that was a shocker. <laughs> just, just a little side note. I was like, they've definitely got one of the runners 
like the second AD. Yeah. Oh, can you just like play the drums to this shop, mate? Because we've had to send the SAs home. So can you just? Yeah. Uh, and it's like easy. Anyone it's can like, play the yeah, drums. I yeah. I played my you dad's drums when I was five. It, it that was a shocker. Yeah. But yeah got them for Christmas. In it, like, I know I'm a pro. But the Iron Death, yeah, that was. Uh... I mean, it's it was yeah, it, it was kind of cute. I mean, that as you say, it kills her pretty instantly. Mm. Um, but he does his makeup and he gets ready, and then Billy's back. Yes, and he accosts Lynn, and he says it again. He goes. I'm back again. Well, it's like we, we know, know, Billy. We and we know you say it in know. the song, I'm back, that you're going to sing again. Oh, I guess soon. we get I it. You're back. It's another call back. Rainbow Eyes, I'm back. I'm going to kill you. All we that shit. Um, so, th- but then we get the twist because he reveals in his killer monologue yep. that he is actually John. John. Who the is the twin of Billy. Of Billy yeah. Who wrote all the music and Billy stole. I mean, the logistics of this, I don't know. Stole the music, stole the fame. And he's pissed off with her because she doesn't sing the songs well enough. Yeah. <laughs> harsh. That's rough. Really harsh. That's rough. That is so harsh. Right? That's the reason. He's like, you, you're shit up there. <laughs> so I'm going to stalk you relentlessly and then kill you. And, and kill everyone yeah. around you and make everyone think you're crazy. Mm. Just because she doesn't apparently sing the songs well enough. I mean, it's harsh. Also, That's I swear dark. he farts in that monologue. <laughs> he's like, go back and listen to it. It's like, he's like, I planned it all, <laughs> fucker. That's how it goes. You killed all those people and let your own brother take the blame? Sure, I did it. I planned it all, fucker. Honestly, <laughs> there's this like creak noise in the background. I rewound and I was like, nobody notices it so it's either like a door or a fart but he's lit uh, literally and then he says fucker after it so i was like is he saying fucker to himself because he did a fart because he did a fart. I did, like, honestly that's the timing of it. To his ass? Isn't it that's the timing of it i planned it all <laughs> fucker that's what happens <laughs> honestly go what a spot. have a little look at it because it's a moment i cannot wait it's a moment i can't wait to go back but he does it he pops her in a coffin and does her makeup and obviously uh, you can tell the director at this mm. point's like you know just say things like this you know while you're doing it because it, we see him again put on a full face of makeup and he says the same two lines over and over he goes put on a good show tonight <laughs> why didn't you love me yeah put, put, on, put on a good show tonight <laughs> Oh, why didn't you love me? <laughs> it's like, okay, all right, cut. cut. He's not the best at improv, old Billy slash John, is he? No. Nah. No, he took the suggestions and then just said those. And, and sat over. with them. He didn't run with them at all. No, he didn't he run. He just sat. Sat with yeah. them. Uh, so he begins, he puts a mask on, obviously, that the mask we've seen. Uh, and he starts to sing the songs. And obviously in this show, mm. of, of, you know, this Shocktober, Rocktober show is where they do theatrical deaths and stuff on stage while singing rock music. But obviously he's actually killing people. Like he guts a girl. Yeah. He cuts one girl's head clean like, off. He, uh, with ease as well, actually. Really gets her with head off very knife. easily with that tiny blunt knife. It must have already been loose. Yeah. Definitely. And pulling the heart out or whatever it is and sort of... That's where I did wonder that, like, you know, and then also he threw the head into the audience. So there is that shot of him sort of throwing the head and then we see the audience and the head never lands, but we'll just ignore that. Um, (laughs) Like, we'll pretend that the jacuzzi's in two different houses, though it's the same. Right, yeah, we'll talk Um, about that. And that he was dry and now he's wet. But yeah, just ignore. And I'm like a a, a human head. I imagine it's quite heavy, Steve. Stephen and uh, that's oh, yeah. that just went into the audience no one batted an eyelid and everyone on stage who knew that these women were like very much alive and now one doesn't have a head and one's like guts are on <laughs> right. the floor did nobody they didn't do that in go rehearsal. uh <laughs> guys yeah, something's yeah I, I so that I had questions again for that and also, who is singing? Who's this guy? Because it's meant yeah. to be the girl. Yeah, and it sounds exactly like know. uncannily like our psycho our past performance. Yeah, so I, I, I did wonder yeah. about that. I was sort of like, everyone's just like, oh, really realistic props here. Sweet. Yeah, cool. No questions asked. Yeah. But again, we get the full song, the entire the whole opening chords song. to the closing chords. And as soon as that's finished, then Lynn pops up in the fucking... Remember, she's been put knocked out and put in a coffin. Yeah, but she goes. Ahead How was with she the suddenly song. alive? And yeah, no, I, I, I was sort her. of like, 
Right. We saw, well, there's a, a shot of a bottle uh, where... I guess I... Yeah, and it was chloroform, but I guess I don't really know what that is. No, Does I, that I, just I, knock you out? Yeah, I think it just knocks you out. But the thing right. is, she comes out of that fucking coffin having been Chill. knocked out. All of her friends are dead. And she goes like, yeah, I'll sing it. She I'll gets, sing she, a song. And she really goes for it. And again, this is rainbow eyes, obviously. So we're, of course I think it's we're rainbow go, eyes. Oh, it's all come together. Yay. But the... um. Full song the, again. The timing of that worked out really well for him as well, didn't it? They chloroformed her or whatever, and then she just happened when she to wake up. up, bang on her cue. That's, you know, <laughs> I know a lot of actors who would not be that good with like six weeks rehearsal, let alone, you know, after chloroform. Like that, that's good. That's quite an achievement that she, it that really she hit that, hit that mark, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's just in it's just in her blood, you know. It's like that adrenaline hitting when you know it's seven thirty and yeah, it's time for the show. There. It's just one of those. She's, she's, she's born a ready. True, she's born a pro. Ready. She's a pro. One hundred. Um, and the, and it's three songs back to back, Tori, and and it's songs we've heard before, especially mm. the opening one. And it's like I get a reprise. I love a reprise. Oh, love I love a, reprise. a callback and a reprise, reprise. But this isn't a reprise. It's just the song. No, it's again. a whole song. I get sang basically the same as well. Like there's not there's no sort of growth here. No, you know. it's exactly the same recording as the beginning one. But also when mm. he takes off the mask and it's revealed, oh my God, it's him. None of the bands stop playing. The audience no aren't freaking out. They're just, it's fine. It's fine. The oh yeah. back. Relax. And she's... Oh, hang- also, Lynn's been right. Lynn's been right this whole time. Everyone's called her crazy. But no, yeah. and also she's handcuffed to him, right? And I, again, I'd say... Yeah. Pretty chill. Yeah, she's all right. Sort of, I'd she's say okay she's like it. mildly disappointed about the situation <laughs> i i i think i'd be all her emotions are mild you know think about everything that's happened i think i'd be having an absolute shit mm. fit at this point handcuffed to the man that's been trying to kill me i mean yeah the trauma i'd like would pass be... out or try and kill him or be screaming or like you know definitely my bandmates like do something <laughs> call 999 I, like you know like yeah, something right. Just looking over your shoulder Anything, like but help. she's sort of like, oh, go on then. Yeah, I'll sing the song with you. Like, you know, whatever, like sort of roll around the stage with you. Very, very, ca- she's a very calm woman. I've got to hand it to her. Yeah, no, I agree. There's, um, yeah, there's not a lot. Uh, you sort of, <sighs> trauma is quite fleeting in this. Very. I think it's going to hit everyone later. And yeah. that's like after the film. I think everyone's going to really, it's going to be like a delayed response. Everyone's suddenly going to go, well, yeah. oh my God, we went through a lot, you know, the past It's probably shock. They're probably in the stages of shock and denial, right? Yeah, they yeah, haven't yeah. hit sort of I acceptance imagine. or bargaining or anger or any, yeah, of, any, any of, of that. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, So tell me what this fucking ending is. I was confused. I mean, I wish... The hitting on the head, the electrocution. I wish I could. He winks at the camera, breaks the fourth wall. I've just written, how did the electric guitar death happen? Don't fully understand that, but cool. Cool. And then I wrote, did he die or... No, I guess not. Because he looks at the camera and kind of keeps singing and it freeze frames and goes, credits. I'll be back as well. He's singing, isn't he? What? Where I think they've gone wrong tour with this electric guitar is I don't think they realise an, an electric guitar, guitar means is. That you just yeah it means you just plug it mm. in. It doesn't mean it's like an electric eel, as in wherever you touch it, it will kill you. You will get electric shock. Yeah, because I mean, yeah, it's not an electrocuted guitar. No, it's an electric, it's an electric guitar, guitar, guitar. As in it is powered because by there'd be a lot of dead very talented musicians if yes. everyone who played an electric guitar risked getting electrocuted by one. I'd yeah. say. Um, it's it's bizarre. It's it's a moment. They took it literally. I think they didn't. They didn't have Google then, so yeah, they couldn't have found out about thinking, an electric guitar. Uh, electric eel, electric fence. You know, both of yeah. those things have a current. So an electric guitar running through definitely would kill him. Must I guess have, they think yeah. the electric current is like running inside it, and if you crack it yeah. open, there we go. It will all spill kill out. You. But it, apart from it doesn't kill John because... Because electricity, you know, it famously does sort of spill like yeah. liquid and travel yeah, through 100%. air and space. Easily. Yeah. Easily. You never um, want to crack open anything electric because it will that electricity will just pour out of you'll it. You'll die. Yeah. Ooh. If you step in that puddle of electricity. <laughs> the, oh, puddles of electricity. One of the main causes of death in 2023. It really, it really is. Yeah. It really is. Just those puddles. You know, I'll be walking to the gym. I'm like, oh, shit, there's a puddle of electricity. I, electricity. I might die. Someone's dropped their iPhone, obviously. <laughs> Electric dream. Yeah. Oh, my God. Memories. Trauma. Throwback. <laughs> <laughs> 
That was a show, Stevie, Stephen <laughs> Webb and I did back in the uh, yes, we back did. in the day, back in the day, back in the day. Yeah. That was, um, I, yeah. So it just, I guess he gets away with it. I don't, I don't know, Tori. I don't understand what we're meant to leave thinking, which always irritates me because yeah. you've asked me to invest. Yeah, you've yeah. asked me to go along with a lot of shit that's highly unrealistic. You've <sighs> asked me not to question it. You know what I mean? I've given you the benefit of the doubt. You've gaslit me. You've mansplained a green card you know you've done a lot to me here and then you want to leave it like that (laughs) no no sorry it's out of order it is it is a bit out of order and it feels like they're taking the piss out of us they are and they've gaslit us again at the end because they've made us question electricity (laughs) and the (laughs) principles of it (laughs) and i you know there's enough going on in the world without this now added to the now I'm like oh, I'm gonna have to read about an electric guitar man could it kill me in yeah. the night I you know because like I electricity I just sort of take as red like I I get I sort of get what it is and I know what it does well I thought this has got me questioning. now yeah now I think you know my ex had an electric guitar what if I'd got up in the middle of the night tripped over it <laughs> and then I'd have been found on the floor in a puddle of death you know, Perish. I'm lucky. I'm lucky to be alive now. I've learned from this uh, film. I'm 37 years old and I've only learned this today. It's, I know. You know, know. It's been, this has been a lot. <laughs> it's oh, God. It's been a hard road. I know. Thank you for putting yourself through this. But I You're do welcome. have to say, I, I love films like this because getting to talk about them, especially with you, <laughs> is, the, the, is way more fun than the actual film. But I had a lovely time. I've I've had a lovely time with you. I yeah. um I the yeah, that's that's a Rocktober film. Rocktober Blood. Is it not going to be an annual watch then for you? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 I don't ever need well, to see that film again. But I I did enjoy it. I mean, it's given us a lot to talk about and Oh, it has. I mean, I feel like we've shared something here. You know, th- there's been trauma involved in this. And, you know, we, now now we've been able to heal together through sharing our experiences. And that's <laughs> that's something that no one can ever take away. And October Blood gave that us so that. That is so true. You know? It has. And I'll never forget I'll it. Never forget um, they it. actually... I'll never forget it. They actually released, because there was a demand, apparently, they released the uh, the soundtrack, the music, in 2015 on record and vinyl. Sorry? And I love... On, only, yes. on, only on vinyl? Or... Uh, yes, only on vinyl. <laughs> because that's how everybody's listening to music in 2015, isn't it? That's, that's yeah, the main way of listening to music. Well, it is all the rage again now, isn't it? It is. But the in vinyl. 2015, not I'd, I would say in 2015, uh, probably the least number of... People were listening to music on maybe, <laughs> maybe right. No, but I love there was enough of, enough of a demand for it. You know, thirty was years there, later. or were they lying? How do we find out? <laughs> like, where are we getting these stats? You know what it's I mean? Sorcerer, isn't it? Sorcerer, like, listen. Sorcery. We, we I've googled it. Dated with requests. I've googled oh, it. They're it called sorcery, sorcery. and you, see, you don't even know what they're called, so you definitely didn't no. <laughs> inundate them with any requests. I wasn't one of the people. No, no. I kind of want it now though just because it's sort of iconic well i know and i know them off by heart because i've heard them so yeah. many times in 90 minutes when you least expect it i will attack <laughs> there you go i'm back i back, don't know rainbow back, eyes yeah. you're a rainbow back. eyes oh something like that <laughs> <laughs> that's i mean basically you just sort of sing in a slight shriek and it's yeah, probably yeah, right yeah, that's it is is that simple um, oh well, right so they released the music that's yes. Okay. Yeah. I'll, well, I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you. Please, please do because mm. I I'm gonna need that to ke- to continue with my life. Is it on Spotify? Or I haven't only... checked that yet, but it's the first thing I'm doing when we finish this uh, call. Yeah, one handy. Yeah, on my Halloween playlist. We heard that song enough have we no, exactly. just need to hear it some more uh well thank you very much as always um i love that you were here for my halloween episode and i'm very I brilliant time honored it was a pleasure and a privilege it was it was an honor to be asked to do the halloween episode uh, I, feel, when, I feel quite special when can we see you on telly 
on telly, on telly. I'm currently on London Kills on BBC One. Yes. You can stream all of the new season four on BBC iPlayer, or I think it's on every Friday at 1.45. Um, don't Amazing. quote me on that, but you can binge it on iPlayer. And then uh, I will be on the Here We Go Christmas special um, mm -hmm. over Christmas. I'm not sure of the date yet. And then season two is following uh, in spring next year. So yeah. that's fun. And Miss Sidhu Investigates, which was on UK TV, I think. That's episode four is also available to stream now. So yeah, it's a couple of, oh, couple of things so happy popping up. It's great. Love you. Thank you. Well done. Well this, done, you. Um, nice. Well, I'll let you get back to your milk and bed. Yeah, I just love milk. <laughs> just need to get, I just want milk and bed. That's just all milk, bed and Rocktober blood. I'm just going to, yeah. I'm just going to play sorcery on repeat and drink my milk <laughs> and then probably vomit because I, it doesn't agree with me. Dare it. So, <laughs> perfect. Great. Well, while you do that, I'm going to go do the same. Yeah, of All course. right, I love you to bed. I love you too. Have, happy Halloween. Thank happy you so you day. Happy, happy, happy Halloween. Happy, you day. happy my day. Yay. <laughs>